and the members of the South East Board. It is my very great pleasure today to pay tribute to two fine sporting teams today. I've been at many South East finals, but I don't think I've seen anyone finer than today's game, to be truthful. To the men from Corsi Rovers, you have indeed our undying gratitude for having played so well and indeed our most sincere commiserations because very seldom could a team have played so well and still not go away the winner. But today, alas, that was your lot. That, uh, in, by saying that, of course, I wish to pay an inverted, if you will, compliment to the strength and the power and the delightful hurling that Valley Rovers showed us today. Congratulations. <laughs> It's been a game that's ebbed and flowed and Jim Forbes was talking to me about it during the week and he predicted a draw for this one too and for a little while there I thought he might even be right. <laughs> Today also, of course, we pay our special thanks to the owner Bui Inn and the person of Mr Barry Collins because they are the ones that sponsor the Junior Hurling Championship and I'm sure that he will have been well pleased and well served by what was served up for him here today. The, we also wish to thank our sponsors and our advertisers and of course you, the general public, who came today to support us so magnificently despite the weather conditions. Our thanks to indeed to our referee Michael Harrington. Well done Michael, that was a fine game, you've did us proud. And of course to the hosts club here at Riverstick the Ballymartle Club who worked tirelessly in very difficult conditions for these last couple of days to have everything so right. However, enough from me today, enough ado <laughs> about the South East final. And one word if I might please, it is my very special privilege today to invite Mr Padjo Cronin, our esteemed and long-serving secretary, to present the cup to the winning captain, Dan Looney. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Before, before we go any further and to give Dan Looney a chance to gather his thoughts together, we will do the Man of the Match Award because this has a special quirk in it. And to announce that, may I introduce to you Mr. Donald Coleman, who once again kindly this year it presents the Man of the Match Award. Donny. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me here again today to have the honor of presenting the Melinda Match Award. Now, I've been doing this since 1977, and believe it or believe it not, uh, since that time, uh, Valley Rovers or Corsi Rovers have never contested the Southeast final. So, it is my first opportunity of presenting the Melinda Match to either Corsi Rovers or Valley Rovers. Right, I keep in suspense. <laughs> there were some great displays today. <clears throat> Actually, it was a majority decision. It was not a unanimous decision, but it was a majority decision between two players of one club. So you'll know in a minute now who that was. <laughs> now, there were some great displays by Corsi Rovers in the persons of Donny Nine, Donald Crowley, and Martin O'Sullivan. Brendan O'Sullivan of Valley Rovers, John Shields, but there were two players that uh, the judges they disagreed on, 
and I am referring to two Valley Rovers players. So <coughs> I've left out one player, but I suppose I should mention that he is very unlucky that he's not getting the trophy. And he, I, to me, he played a fantastic game. That's TJ DC. But uh, the verdict is to the captain, you're very worthy, Captain Donald. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning captain, Dan Looney. Jesus Christ, is it? Christ, they know how to say it. The first time I was ever speechless. But, well, it was. This is the most important thing in the lads. We've been waiting 20 years for this. And we have it today, lads. Well, we wouldn't have got this boss without the effort they put in from the players. Most of all, and they put in a few set for this year, lads. And the selectors, Davy Carty and Gabby Sullivan, who's missing today, lads, who's going to New York, lads. I need three cheers for them. <laughs> The nice boss, the supporters, and I suppose most of all, Mary Crowley, who's missing today, who was on us all year and who got married last Saturday. But her sister took over to the end, she's done a fine job, I think, Anna. I think another thing that's over the young fellas, there was a young team today, I think the men that brought us up through the years, lads, overall under 12 and under 14 and under 16 and minor, I think. Father Murphy, lads. And I think a big cheer for him, lads. And I think only for him, I think we wouldn't be here today, I think. So, lads. That's all I have to say, I can't think anymore. <laughs> Only in the channel is the place to be tonight. <laughs> Three tails for Corsi Rovers now, lads. Hip, hip, <laughs> hey! Hip, hip, <laughs> hey! Hip, hip, <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 and lads, sorry, I forgot someone more sorry and pardon, I think. John Granger and Teddy Manny. Yeah. Yeah. so many people to think of. Mind that business, class. Must show him to that. Now, of course, I have a very happy and out of breath winning captain Dan Loney. Dan, a magnificent game. Just such a great game. It was unbelievable at times. I thought it was going to mistake when they got the goal there in the second half. But I thought it was a great display. So the team showed great character in coming back and winning, I think. Oh, it's just fantastic. At half time, Dan, it looked a little ominous for.